But sometimes we can oblige, and all Dom Jolly wanted was a phone number. Hello. Do you do tanks at all? Hi, how you doing? Hi, Luke. I'm Charlie. Have you bought my tank? Yep, that's right. The brains behind the hidden camera show, Trigger Happy TV, wants to spend a day with a road legal tank, feeding his passion for mischief making in vehicles. I've done loads of weird driving in all sorts of places, and when we're doing Trigger Happy, we just spend the whole time driving around in two Toyota Previas, and we used to just get bored and we go off roading. I've driven a Toyota Previa right through the middle of Hyde Park. I drove around a botanical garden in the Isle of Wight once, just literally drove into it on these little paths and there's old diddies wandering around. I'm like, is this the way to Ventnor or wherever? Yeah, this will fit in nicely down here because it's very peaceful. That's why I left London, just get a bit of peace and quiet, and I think this will be the perfect thing to get around in. You've got to applaud Dom's imagination. A tank is certainly a bit different to his previous cars. I had a midlife crisis and I decided I was going to buy a Porsche, but then I realised that I hated being a Porsche driver. Every time I'd stop at traffic lights and another Porsche there, they'd all be like, hey, you all right, we're in the club. i go, no, I'm not, I don't want to be in your club, you're a I hope he's seen that car. And I just bought a Mitsubishi Warrior and, frankly, it's rubbish. It's just awful. I don't know why I've got a pickup truck. And I drive around a pickup truck just thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> Actually, if we crash it today, can I claim the insurance on your insurance? Now I could get something else, couldn't I? Something like this, which is actually two Vickers 432 APCs welded together to make the stretch limo of the tank world. The front half saw action in the Gulf and the back served in Bosnia, so life in the Cotswolds should be a doddle. Rubber pads in the tracks help make it road legal, and according to its owner Nick, it's tax and MOT exempt. Okay, if I took this up to London, can I get into what's the congestion charge situation on that? It's exempt. No, it's not. No, completely exempt, yeah. They've exempt never really the thought about charge. tracked vehicles, no. So my choice if I'm looking for a sort of cheap vehicle for London... It'd be perfect. Toyota Prius or this. Well, you can't clamp it, you can't lift it, you can't do anything. Do you know, it's what I'm looking for, actually. It's just what you need. Frankly, Dom preferred the idea of being a tank commander rather than a tank driver and ordered his crew on their first mission, the school run. Although the narrow streets did prove a bit of a challenge. Well, as usual, we've got a plumber parked right in the middle of the street, so uh, that's the joy of this thing. I mean, you do your best to get past things, but at the end of the day, just go straight over them if it's a problem. Right, forward! A full UK car licence lets you drive something like this on L plates. Oh, this is tops. I don't know why I haven't got one of these before. The two-stroke Rolls-Royce eight-litre engine runs on petrol or diesel and produces 300 horsepower, enough to propel 17 and a half tons to a thundering 40 miles an hour. I'm actually surprised by how pacey this is. I thought it was gonna be all day just going like that, but it's quite fast. It's faster than my, my Mitsubishi, anyway. <laughs> it does about four miles to the gallon and is valued at £50,000. Insurance for private use is 80 quid fully comp. Morning. And the real beauty is it's slim enough to fit through the school gates. Three-year-old Jackson Jolly was in for a big white UN surprise. You like my tank? Yeah. Yeah? It's very big. It is very big, yeah, but we're going to get rid of the pickup truck and we're going to drive a tank now. Do you like it? Yeah? yeah? Actually, we've come here a bit early, so we're only a couple of 4x4s, but as the 4x4s start coming in, I think they'll know who's the daddy. <laughs> Excellent. I just hope my kids don't get savagely beaten the next day. All right. <laughs> Your dad's the one with the tank, is he? Yeah? Well, let's see how tough you are now, Jolly. Oh, it could turn out really badly. <laughs> Mission two for the professional prankster, invade the village.
the city, you take control of key installations, like a radio station. But in the case of the village, we're going to take control of the pub, lower the morale of the village. Excuse me, which way's the pub? Brilliant, thank you. OK, all these will be confiscated. All this is mine! We're going to get rid of all these houses, two new. Take the pub! Looks like we've surprised them. Check the door. Oh, for God's sake. No, that's it, they'll be closed. Undeterred, he went to address the villagers directly. Just let you know the village now under my control. <laughs> so, uh, the pub will be open all day from now on. Excellent. Good man. And uh, good there'll be no good. taxes. Good. Off we go. I haven't noticed many riots lately. Seem to be needing peace to be kept, you know, but I'm sure you'll do a good job. This village is now my property, so if you can get off the lawn, please. This, I own this now, so move off. Thank you. It's my village, hop it. It's not your village, you haven't got a tank. Afternoon. Are you expecting trouble in the village? You don't know, you know, no one's allowed out after midday in the village now. I'm very sorry, I didn't know that. Did you not get the rules? I didn't know. Right, I'll be posting them up at the pub, but okay. no one on the green between 12 and 4. I'll get home straight away, sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right, carry on. Nice to meet you. This is my village. When you've got a tank, you can do what you want. You don't get this with a Mitsubishi? Right, let's go to the pub again. <laughs>